This is KMTV 3 News Now. Hi, I'm Cerise Cole with 3 News Now. Here's a look at what's happening now. A man accused of terroristic threats after an unannounced active shooter drill will make his first appearance in Douglas County Court today. During the drill, actors pose as victims, terrifying employees. The man is 27-year-old John Channels, who was hired by Catholic Charities back in May to conduct an active shooter training. According to court documents, employees and bystanders in the area were unaware as channels used a real gun with blanks. He now faces six felonies. Deputies in Dodge County can expect a bonus check soon. The Dodge County Board of Supervisors agreed Wednesday to give $5,000 checks to any deputy who worked during the pandemic and remains in the sheriff's office. The money comes from the feds using the American Rescue Plan Act dollars. After a stormy start to our Thursday for a lot of us out there, we'll see some more sunshine towards the second half of the day after we reach up to 88 degrees this afternoon. And those winds won't be too prominent, only between 5 to 15 miles per hour. Tonight we drop back down to 65 degrees and will be mostly clear overnight, ultimately closer to average for us for this time of year with just a few clouds passing over our skies. In our seven day forecast, we can see average temperatures return for Friday back to 86 degrees on Friday. We reach back up to 90 degrees on Saturday with a higher chance of seeing some rainfall, especially Saturday night into Sunday morning. Both days will be breezy and both days will be warm. 88 degrees is back on Sunday with some more sunshine towards the second half of the day so far. We stay in the upper 80s on Monday before we drop it back down to the mid 80s by the middle of the work week.